folks. Oh my goodness. I want you to check out the latest piece of barbecue weaponry in our current arsenal of barbecue gear. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's from a company called Barrel Pro. Um, wow, the, the gentleman just delivered it. And he was quite surprised when I said, hey man, we gotta carry it up the stairs. Uh, shout out to you, man, thanks for helping me. But folks, I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be one piece of awesome gear. My goodness. And I guess I, on the previous video, I showed you the uh, charcoal chimney from Barrel Pro, and that thing is solid. Absolutely solid piece of gear, as is this thing here. Let me give you a quick rundown. We barely got it through the door, but it has a, uh, a hinge here. So that falls down. Luckily it does, because, I mean, like I said, we, we, we got it through the door, no problem, but... If it was one more inch wider, we would not have uh, got it through this door right here. Now this is the classic size. I think it's like the medium size smoker that they make out of the barrels. There's a bigger one and there's a smaller one. It's called a beginner, but it was only like a couple thousand pesos more, like $40 more. So I went with the middle one and <laughs> I almost got it too big for our little balcony out here. So if you're look if you're if you have a small balcony, small place, whatever, maybe you want to go with the beginner size. But being that I got it in place, I'm glad I went with this model. And that thing just uh, folds up there. So you got a nice sturdy work surface. Now this one does not fold down. And when it shipped, this thing was just uh, you know half turned over. All I had to do is just just pop it up, give it a a half turn and it's in place and that piece right that piece right there was in the grill so I already got it set up assemble this this thing is tight these things right here when they lock it into place it is tight so I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of leakage on the smoke and there's your temperature it even tells you what range you need to be in Love that emblem that's beautiful and and i'll tell you when i first started looking at these i thought that they were going to be a shiny black and then i saw a couple that were the, the matte black finish and sometimes they'll make it in red for you gold or blue this lid but i really wanted the matte black finish and i'm, I'm glad i went with that because look at that that's just just beautiful now it's a little dusty we haven't cleaned it up from transport straight from the factory here but just take a look at this folks this thing is solid i don't know what gauge steel this is but this is thicker than i thought the barrel was going to be because they make one in roll steel uh check out their website but here you go stainless steel great that thing is sturdy as can be and then here's the main grate, and that thing is solid too. Solid piece of gear. Now it comes with this drip pan, but the drip pan can also serve as a, uh, you know, a charcoal tray. So if you want to use this thing as a grill, you can do so. You just put your charcoal in there. And look at that. Oh yeah. Now there's your opening right there. Yeah, so again, smoker, but it can also, you just use it as a charcoal grill, which occasionally I probably will. Oh, it's heavy. So that is too cool. That is too cool. You got an extra support in the middle so this thing don't sag. So that's gonna fit well if, if I wanna put my large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker in this thing which i've been known to do put it on a grill let's come on over here and just check out the wells folks that thing is solid to the bone so we'll take a look in here 
good sturdy hinges right there wells all the way across and it's a little tight quarters over here but i'll give you a look i really like the wood handle uh that's on this guy here we'll open her up there there you go so nice solid lock there and keep that thing closed and then here's your damper there we go uh this guy here open her up wow now that is a solid solid uh great for your charcoal and your wood that is too cool so i'm i'm pleased with the size of this chamber and again i'm going to be using this, their uh, their charcoal chimney and as you can see that just works perfect a little bit of sunshine right there but when i get that thing fired up boom just right in the top keep the door closed over there i have to measure that there you go take a look at the wells and come on down here and we've got nice shelf mid shelf and plenty of room down here to stack my wood and that's perfect keep it up off the ground in case a little bit of rain gets in here nice casters and that thing rolls pretty good that's only got the wheels on the one side and if you get the the, uh, what they call the tank light it's got four casters but th that's okay this is perfect this thing came wrapped in a ton of bubble wrap and a ton of plastic plastic wrap excuse me and so it, it looks good to me i don't see any dings or dents the, the dude had it right in the back of his truck and we just got it right out of there Look at that, good sturdy backstops there for the lid. So folks, right up, right off the bat, I am digging this thing. Holy moly. Just uh, good quality, good quality. I'll put the price, boom, there's the price. Now, I know you got access to all kind of stuff in the States. I got it. I like to buy local and these folks here they're making them local here in the philippines and this is a solid product this ain't some thin crap that come out of china it came out of a local shop and i'm glad i got it the only thing about it the only thing about it now i may fall in, i'm already in love with this one but if you go to their website and you look at, it's called the Tank Light Pro, and it comes with a uh, pizza top oven over the uh, the firebox. It is a beautiful piece of gear. Now it was twice as much as this one. So I said, let me go with this one. This one's beautiful. I'm gonna see how much I enjoy smoking. Um, but if money's no object for you, check out that Tank Light with that pizza top. It's a beautiful piece of gear as well. There you go, folks. So what I'm gonna do now is, is have the ladies come over here and just give it a once over, and just get it cleaned out. And then we'll go to seasoning this bad boy. I'm really tempted to just throw some chicken on there tonight and smoke it, but now I need to season it, you know, burn all the impurities off from the manufacturing process. There you go. This is the, uh, I think on Lazada it's called the classic size. Now on the website, I'm not sure if it's called the same or not. I'll put the information in the description and on your screen. Wow. Barrel Pro. Shout out to you guys. Man, just sitting here admiring that thing sitting out there. Look, look how it changes the whole dynamic and the whole atmosphere of this little balcony. And that's another reason I went with these folks. These things have a lot of character. Like I said, they didn't come out of some mass produced assembly line in china with a focus on cheap and maximizing profits there's some tlc that went into that i don't know how they build them but uh there, there's some tlc that thing's got its own unique character and it just changes the whole dynamic of my little balcony man
Folks, now look at this puppy. The ladies have got her cleaned up. Knock the dust off of this bad boy. All right, let's 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 go about seasoning it. All right, again, Barrel Pro made in the Philippines. All right, folks, so how do you season a uh, smoker? Well, pretty simple. You just coat everything on the inside with either canola oil. Some people say you can use olive oil. I think the... I think the number one choice is canola oil. I don't have it in a spray, so I'm just gonna wipe it down with a sponge. Everything from the racks to the, the pan, inside. Wipe down everything with the canola oil, and then we're gonna fire this thing for three hours at about 350 degrees, which is higher than you would use for smoking. But that's gonna season the grill. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Here we go. Canola oil on a sponge. You know, I guess most people, most people use a spray, but hey, I ain't got no spray. <laughs> Reminds me of what that dude used to say in the bathroom. Cowboys, well, he was there when it was Crystal Chandelier. Back in Kennesaw, Georgia. The gentleman was selling, uh, you know, a couple squirts of perfume. He used to say, no spray, no lay. Right, baby, pour a little bit more for me. Look, that thing's already clean. Looks like they did a good job cleaning the thing at the factory. That's that's not even any dirt getting on that sponge. Nor paint coming on. It's probably better, probably better to use uh, gloves when you're doing this when you don't accidentally cut yourself against one of these sharp surfaces. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go get my glove. But one thing, if, if you don't have the spray and you're using the sponge method like I'm doing, just make sure you, you pick out these little pieces of the sponge that get, you know, tore off like right there. Don't leave those in there. All right, so now I got the thing wiped down. Put a generous coat of canola oil, all the, uh, the inside spaces. And you know what? I even did the damn firebox. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but it did. Um, baby, bring me the strong arm, the Gerber strong arm. Yeah, all right, folks, and I'm gonna cheat. Usually you just put one piece of paper under there, but I got this burner. I can literally turn that burner on for about 30 seconds and get this thing going in the essence of time. Got a whole big, huge bag of ooling here. This old piece called uh, charcoal ooling. Yeah, nice big chunks. This is a charcoal that you buy here. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like what you're used to in the States with the briquettes that are made in a factory. This is made up in the hills or somebody's house, carport, whatever. Maybe not a carport, but that's why they don't all look the same. So again, I'm gonna cheat. Let's just see if we can get a tune out of this trombone. Get the Gerber strong arm over here out of the way. Make sure you got the fire box ready. I'll just close that door. I'll keep that closed until, until it get ready. There you go. This thing is ready to rumble. Let's see if we can get a tune out of this trombone. Let's see if we can get it going there. You can just do the one in the middle. You want to come on? Here we go. I have to get it. Just take it up to 90. You see, it ain't going to take but a second. That charcoal is dry. A lot of the charcoal that you buy over here in the Philippines, you got to lay it out in the sun, sun, sunshine and uh, let, it, let it air out because it's just too moist. They don't store properly or get wet, whatever. This stuff here is ready to go. Hold it right over that. No problem. Folks, like I said, this thing is a tank. This charcoal chimney from Barrel Pro is an absolute tank. It's good and bad. It's going to last forever, but I don't think my full peanut. Right, she'd take two hands, she could lift it. There we go. I think that's enough, just about a minute. 
Oh yeah, that's enough. Let's move this bad boy over here. I'll set it down on that thing until she gets going. Already going, really. Got my beautiful assistant out here, my wife's sister, Florentina. Thank you very much for sweeping that up, baby. And they say just leave the smokestack open, the damper open, wide open. Just let it rock and roll for three hours. Hey, folks, I want to say thanks for joining me on this little video. You know, unboxing, initial review, and seasoning of my Barrel Pro smoker. Hell yeah. I'm loving it already. All right, folks. Ain't no time like the present. You know what? It's actually, it's actually a good drip pan right there. Here we go. Boom. Shaka laka laka. There we go. A damper open. Oh, perfect. See those big chunks are perfect because they don't fall through that grate. Get the damper open all the way. That charcoal is going. Close the lid. Shit, that thing's sealed tight. Yep, smoke's gonna start coming here, which it already does. We've got that thing oiled up and ready to go. And now all that's left to do is drop the hammer on it, Flo. And tighten her up. Folks, it's so wonderful when you have a band of white beautiful girl assisting with your operations there you go lock her down so when you lock that thing down that's tight that is tight everything is tight then uh, get the flow of smoke coming through here for anybody who don't know anything about smokers and there you go there you go keep it wide open because we're not cooking today all we're doing is seasoning we want to try to take that bad boy up I don't know they say around 350 Keep it going. All right, and the question is, what wood? Are, what we got? Santol, acacia, mahogany, and apple. Now I got big chunks of wood, and it's gonna go for a couple hours. So I need to use these. I have cherry over there, but it's just the chips. Yeah, give us a couple pieces of the apple, sweetie. All right, folks. This looks like it's going. Here, baby, I got the glove. Let me handle it. You're beautiful, but let me just. Put a couple pieces of wood in there. Should start out with two. Let's start with two, baby. There you go. Get them on there. See if they get started. And yeah, this is the star apple, as it says. And folks, I don't know nothing. I don't know which wood is going to work better. I got a sampling of all the different wood that was available on Lazada. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook three chickens. And I'm going to use a different wood, and I'm going to ask all of my crew and the neighbors which uh, taste is better, and I'll try to go with that wood. Folks, that thing, that thing's putting off a whole bunch of smoke. With just that little bit of charcoal and then two pieces of wood. Now, the wood hadn't caught yet. But I'll tell you what, if you got a small balcony, again, I would go with the uh, beginner size. This is perfect for me because I got to cook for a huge crew. But if it's just you and your Filipina, you and your wife, the beginner size is probably good for you. But a couple thousand extra pesos, get a little bit bigger. I mean, it's a proper machine right here. Ain't no joke. Think about it. I still got to barbecue some chicken. So I'm gonna have to uh, get out there on the traditional grill. Teamwork. It's all about teamwork getting that band started. All about teamwork, my friends. Got all them cool ass providing the power to do hit the clutch. Boom, got the clown van running. Those are cool little vans. Call them multi cabs. I said, you know what? Let me open this thing up here and just let it go full full Monty. But then the smoke comes out here. It doesn't go through the tunnel. So, just got to be patient. 
just keep that closed, keep the damper open, and then the, the flow of air, smoke, and heat goes that direction where it's supposed to go. It's all trial and error, folks. This is the first smoker I've ever owned, personally. It's quitting time over here. Construction guys just got off. And this dude here, the last one bringing up the rear. Every day, bringing it up. Got my wife's sister babysitting the, the seasoning here. I told her, hey, if something catches on fire, go to the fire suppression system that we got right here. Go to fire suppression, take care of business, because I got to go out back and use the uh, gas grill, get them chicken wings going. But flow is on the J-O-B. I'm just hoping this don't smoke out my neighbors. See, it's like we're in a factory. Yeah. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you something. Once I get this thing seasoned, tonight's just the seasoning, getting this thing ready. Tomorrow, I'm putting three chickens on this thing in the morning. I'm gonna smoke three chickens in the morning. I'm three wings? No. Chicken wings? <laughs> no, baby, not three chicken wings. Oh, well, three whole know. chickens. Whole chicken. <laughs> Look at wife number two po poking her head out here trying to get in the action. I'm gonna put three whole chickens. Three whole chickens in the morning. I'm gonna use the uh, apple wood. And then in the afternoon, I'm gonna put three more chickens and I'm gonna use a different wood because I want you I, I want you ladies to say which which is the best on the wood. So get ready to eat some smoked chicken tomorrow, baby. We're trying to decide if we're disturbing our neighbors over there. No, it's but see, we don't have any neighbors here. That building's vacant. So if the smoke goes that way, we're not bothering anybody. There's nothing over there but an empty lot. I'll give you I'll give you a look over here. See, there's nothing but jungle over here. We're not bothering anybody here, but it's like the minute I fire this up, it goes over towards my neighbors over there. But I think there's enough distance and offset wood still ain't really caught on all the way all right so why that thing's getting seasoned but man it's my brand new grill brush and these ladies have got rice in it my goodness new grill brush oh yeah I gotta cook these wings back here because they're starving all right now we're getting a tune out of the trombone just had to open her up a little bit, get a little oxygen in there. We were stalled out at 200, 205. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna do it. Now we're gonna get up there. Where are we at? 200? Yeah, we'll be at 200 and climb in here. All right, so we're rocking 250 now and probably actually climbing. So, I want to stay 225. I mean, I, I need to get it up higher just for the seasoning process here, but I want to stay about 225. I threw another lump of coal in there. And so that's not a huge fire to stay at 225. And you get a little bit higher, but tomorrow that size fire is going to be fine to smoke my chickens. Using this coconut chopper here as a fire stirrer. Man, it's the best tool. Look at that. Do everything from cut vegetables to dig a hole, chop firewood, chop coconuts, peel potatoes. Man, poke the smoker. Good old Camaro. Got some transmission for all. Linking along like chitty chitty bang bang. It's gonna go. He's still clanking. 